welcome back to Live In It Country. Today we have another beautiful fall farmhouse we get to tour today. I am so excited to have Steve and Michelle here. They are gonna be touring their gorgeous fall farmhouse this year and you guys are gonna get lots of inspiration from them. So I highly encourage you guys to go check them out on Instagram, show them some love and let's welcome them here today and tour their home. Hello, I'm Michelle. And I'm Steve. And I just wanted to thank Holly for inviting us to do this fall home tour on her YouTube channel. And I wanted to briefly tell you a little bit about our story. Um, we had just remodeled our um, manufactured home. It'll be three years ago next month, October the 10th. And um, when we were hit by category five hurricane, Hurricane Michael, and so we didn't, we had evacuated and re really didn't know if we would have a, a home to come back to. We did, but um, we had to start completely over. It was a gut job. So I'm gonna let Steve tell you about what all this he all did. Bandit. This is Bandit. I'm gonna tell you, let him tell you about what all he did. He, he pretty much built our home back um, and worked full time. And he made all my visions uh, and dreams come to life, so. So, so Hurricane Michael hit, um, the issue we had, the biggest issue we had was we was not able to get a contractor to come in. Uh, so it was from no, from December to May before we ever got a new roof on. So the mold basically took over. So we had to go completely gut from the, all the way down to the studs, uh, inside and out. Uh, so it was, uh, and then we started putting everything back. Uh, so the mold basically took over. So we had to go completely gut from the, all the way down to the studs, uh, inside and out. Uh, so it was, uh, and then we started putting everything back. Uh, we was fortunate enough to have someone come in and do the sheetrock. Uh, once the sheetrock was done, then everything else was pretty much us. So uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and. Uh, Check us out on Instagram at House of Transformation. It truly is a transformation. And I would love for you to go check out our before picture. Welcome to our home. And when you walk in, this is some, I guess you would call it the living room, but we don't stay in here a whole lot. It's more like a sitting room. And um, the first thing that you see is our entryway here. Our two arches and I've got it all decked out for fall. And then um, this was an old, um, TV center that we had gotten from Walmart. Our chalk painted it. I got that fireplace off of Facebook Market and chalk painted it. And my daddy made that coffee table a long time ago when I was a little girl and I chalk painted it as well. So, recycle quite a bit of the furniture. And we actually put that together, but the difference in the before and this well, the whole house, but this room especially is just crazy. Um, and you can go to our Instagram page at House of Transformation to see the before pictures. Um, just crazy, the difference. So there's a view of that. And then this is the dining room. And we put this entire kitchen back together. Well, the whole house really, but the kitchen I'm especially proud of. Um, we did it ourselves. We did our countertops for less than $200. There's a tutorial on our page about that. This was an old hutch, our island, that was given to us. And we took the top off and actually made it into an island. So that was repurposed as well. And one of the things I did splurge on was the farmhouse sink. I had to have that. But we 
literally put this house back together from scratch. We gutted it and started completely over. It's nothing like it was before. My husband, um, he made the um, range hood. We did the faux brick. There's a tutorial on our page about how we did that. Um, we did it relatively inexpensive. Um, um, we did all the cabinets ourselves and everything. So then you come into our den. This is my little coffee bar neck area here. Keep all my coffee stuff and I change it out for the seasons and that that over here was my bakery bar. I don't have a pantry so I did a bakery bar and I keep everything that you would keep in a pantry in that. So and then this is our den. This is where we actually watch TV and uh, spend the most time hanging out. And my boys play piano and sing. So lots of singing going on in here most days. And we put this fireplace in, it's electric, but it also puts out heat. Um, we did that and um there was a um fireplace originally in the manufactured home in this corner which we took out and so we'd have more space so this is my son's room and uh, one of my sons we pretty much did both of their rooms very similar um what we did is i took a full-size bed and turned it um, like a day bed so during the day they can sit up and watch TV play their video games and um, at night they sleep you know this way and it just gives them a lot more room so a little tip for you there if you have a smaller room um, we did a black feature wall which he really likes and so do we it turned out really good I'm trying to I'm not used to video and like this so I apologize and then I'll show you my other son's room, which is very similar. Um, this kind of flopped, the layout's flopped. Desk, did the bed the same way. And, um, you know, then he can play his video games and stuff. So that's a good little tip where you just turn that bed around and it gives him a lot more floor space. So this is our um, only guest bathroom in our boys' bathroom. So we did a barn door so we could have more room because it's a very small bathroom. We we had a tub and shower. We went back in with a corner shower um, and then that left us room to put towels and things over here and a hamper. And then we have um, the sink and the toilet. It's hard to hard to video this room <laughs> there I am but um anyway we made use of this space for sure um, it's a very small space so we try to make the most use of it we do have a spare bedroom but my son's best friend is living with us right now and it's it is a mess so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you look at that so now I'm going to take you to the master bedroom and master bathroom. Okay, so this is our master bedroom. And TV here. We did a shiplap. It's faux shiplap, and we have a tutorial on that. My husband made that barn door and we are still working on our master bathroom, but I'm going to show you what we've got done so far. We totally reconfigure this. Um, this used to be like a corner garden tub. That's like, you know, most of the manufactured homes and then a really small vanity and the shower was actually right here and now the toilet's over here that's part of the part that we're not done with and we still have to do trim and stuff but really do love my second tub so this is our um laundry room 
and I absolutely love this. We had to put a hot water heater down here. So my husband made the store and those shelves and it just looks so much better. He encased all of that. And then he hung me a rod up there. Got my hamper there. And I'll just show you kind of what we did here. That's the hot, ugly hot water heater. And then we just have some storage that needs to be organized, but um, just a really good solution. It's not gas um, for anybody that's wondering, but I do love my laundry ring. So different. You have to go to our Instagram page and look at the before and afters. It's just amazing how different it looks. Check us out on Instagram at House of Transformation. It truly is a transformation and I would love for you to go check out our before pictures. Um, and we're on TikTok at Stephen. And we would love for you to follow us and look at all of our before and afters and just stay on this crazy ride with us. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. A big thank you to Steve and Michelle for opening up their stunning farmhouse-styled home. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tour, and I will see you guys later on Living a Country.